a million sets produced frightened many in coin business. The speculative market for these coins collapsed under the weight of overproduction, making this set a drag on the market for the next 20 years. The immense mintage led to a large population of fully red gems, but most have little or no contrast. While cameo pieces are not rare, ultra cameo specimens are exceedingly rare in relation to the total mintage. This taunt specimen, graded PR66 red and brown by PCGS, stands out among them. This is a 1964 the Kennedy of dollar, an attractively toned silver 50 cent piece. The 1964 the halves were destined to be hoarded in mint state condition with circulated ones rarely found in less than AU50 state. Most unworn survivors are heavily marked from years of back trading and repeated contact. While gems are fairly available through MS66, finding this issue above that grade is rare. This particular specimen graded MS66 Plus by PCGS sold for an impressive $432 at Heritage Auctions on July 15, 2024. Wow, what a gem. This is 1987S Silver Eagle struck by San Francisco Mint. Graded in mint state 69 by Anex, the 1987S Silver Eagle, struck by San Francisco Mint, is a notable coin among collectors. This coin is composed of one ounce of 0.999 fine silver, and is part of American Silver Eagle series, first introduced in 1986. It features Adolf A. Weinman's iconic Walking Liberty design on the verse and John Mercanti's Heraldic Eagle on the reverse, graded in mean state 69 by Anex, it is near perfect with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. The MS69 grade indicates exceptional quality and appeal, making it a desirable piece for both investors and collectors, combining historical significance and intrinsic value. It was sold for $420 on July 15, 2024. Here is another attractively toned US coin, recently showcased at heritage auctions for big bucks. 1964 the Roosevelt time graded in mint state 67 plus by NGC with star designation. The 1964 the Roosevelt time minted in Denver is a noteworthy coin for collectors, graded in mint state 67 plus. With a star designation, it represents superior eye appeal and exceptional quality. The star designation indicates outstanding visual quality that set it apart from other coins of the same grade. This particular dime recently sold for $288, reflecting its high desirability and rarity in such pristine condition. The 1964D dime is composed of 90% silver, adding intrinsic value to its collectability. Its combination of historical significance, high grade and aesthetic appeal makes it prized addition to any collection. The 1957 Lincoln Sand graded MS66 red and brown by NGC is a remarkable example of this classic coin. The red and brown designation indicates a mix of original red mint luster and brown toning, showcasing its age and preservation quality. In such high grade, this coin is exceptionally well struck with minimal marks or imperfections. Recently sold for $55, its value reflects both its condition and appeal to collectors. The 1957 cent is made of 95% copper, adding to its historical and intrinsic interest. This coin represents a beautiful piece of mid 20th century American numismatic history. The 1950 Lincoln cent graded PR64 read by PCGS is a significant coin for collectors. The proof designation indicates it was struck with special dyes and methods to produce high quality finish typically for collectors. The RD designation signifies that the coin retains at least 95% of its original red mint luster with grade of proof 64. The coin exhibits minor imperfections but still remains but still maintains an impressive overall appearance. The 1950 proof cents were struck at Philadelphia Mint in limited quantities, making them desirable for their scarcity and pristine condition. The coin is a beautiful example of mid 20th century American proof coinage. It was sold for $45 on July 10, 2024, at Stax Powers. And this is 1968 Noah's Roosevelt Time, graded as PR69 by PCGS. The 1968 Noah's Proof Time takes third place among 100 greatest U.S. modern coins by Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett, where the authors write, 
Any error in manufacture of proof coin is not worthy because of its considerable amount of special care that is taken in their production. Indeed, proof coinage errors are rare across board. Interestingly, the 1968 was the first year that those proofs were struck at the San Francisco Mint. A small number, perhaps two dozen pieces, were struck from the dies that had not been appropriately punched with the S mint mark. The present no S example displays a band of golden orange color at the upper obverse while the surfaces are otherwise brilliant. It was sold for $45,600 at heritage auctions. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the rare US coins that can bring premiums at auctions. Remember knowledge is key to identifying these gems and ensuring they don't get spent by mistake. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Coin Us and hit notification bells so you never miss our latest coin news. Happy collecting and God's willing, see you next time.